This summer has been shockingly good for 2D Metroidvanias. Chasm came to Vita, Salt and Sanctuary previously on Vita released on Switch, Hollow Knight came to Switch, and Dead Cells released on Switch and PS4. While I know my channel is generally Vita focused, I wanted to do a video talking about these games because I've been so impressed with them that I've literally been confused at times which game to play because I wanted to play all of them, although two have stood out from the pack. Ranking these four games, Chasm comes fourth for me. In my review I talked about how Chasm is a good game with good gameplay, but I didn't enjoy all the backtracking. Returning to the same area again and again did get boring at times, but the variety of weapons and challenge kept me interested enough to stick with it. Number 3 is Salt and Sanctuary. I love this on Vita, and I highly recommend it for Switch too. With the heavier player character, slow and purposeful attack defend dodge gameplay, the recover salt after death, stamina gauge and large epic bosses, it's basically Dark Souls in 2D, and it's excellent. The bosses are challenging and varied and there's a huge skill tree so you can customize your character to any playstyle you prefer. The dark and grey environments really suit the game in the sense of hopelessness that you feel at times but by contrast there's a great feeling of accomplishment to beating that boss. After playing Hollow Knight and Dead Cells, it does feel a lot slower, and this may not be enjoyed by everyone, but for Vita owners, alongside Castlevania Symphony of the Night, this is one of the best Metroidvanias available. Number 2 is Hollow Knight, another game heavily inspired by Dark Souls, but with more emphasis on speed and nimble gameplay. I found the fluid movement and battling made the game more fun than Salt and Sanctuary, the world map is huge and I found myself getting lost at times, but with a bit of exploration it's never too hard to find the next area to access. The graphics are amazing, the world is so well developed and atmospheric and the bosses are unique and memorable. Where Salt and Sanctuary feels basically Dark Souls in 2D, Hollow Knight makes changes to those Dark Souls systems that works far better. For example your special gauge can be used for healing and executing a special ability and it recovers as you kill enemies, which made me play much more aggressively than Salt and Sanctuary. I found it much harder than any of the three games, and I haven't finished it yet, but I've been so impressed with what I've played so far. I bought Hollow Knight just before buying Octopath Travelers, and I've barely played Octopath because the game is just so much more interesting. The only thing that really dragged me away from it was Dead Cells, which is my number one pick of these four games. Dead Cells is just excellent. It's got the addictive roguelike loop of Rogue Legacy. The gameplay is easy to grasp, and it's just so polished. Small things just add so much style to the game like the sound and shake of the screen when you slam to the ground or smash a door. And I even enjoy the humour of the silent protagonist as he shrugs his shoulders at NPCs, or gives them random thumbs up. Similar to Rogue Legacy, you can upgrade some elements of your character using cells you obtain from fallen enemies that can help with subsequent playthroughs. But they only help a bit. It really comes down to your skills and how you improve over each playthrough, and how you learn to deal with each new enemy and environment. I really feel like a badass playing this game. Taking on a group of enemies, dodging perfectly and taking them out with ease is so satisfying. You do have to play through the same environments each time, but because the levels are procedurally generated, I haven't found myself getting bored. I feel like I've learned and improved so much that I'm sailing through the early environments and getting further and further each time. The first true boss in the game destroyed me the first time I encountered him, and now I'm dealing with him without having to heal or lose too much health. I should probably be playing slower and more cautiously, but I just love jumping into battles and using my powers to freeze or burn enemies while tearing them apart with my sword. There's a great variety of weapons too and so many secrets to unlock. If you have a Switch or PS4, then grab this game. I've enjoyed it far more than any other game I've played so far this year, and the game looks beautiful too. So guys, what's your favourite Metroidvania? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.